What is going on guys, Greggles TV. Samsung has just released a new update for Bixby that allows you to change the functionality of the Bixby button on your phone. Now, if you wanna make sure that you have that update downloaded, what you're gonna to wanna to do is swipe up and go into the Galaxy Store. Load that up. Once the Galaxy Store is open, hit the three dots in the top right, and then click My Page and then click on update and it's gonna show you any apps that have updates. I had three Bixby apps that had updates and I just updated them, you just click update basically next time. Once you're done with that, just hit your home button and then you wanna open up and activate Bixby. Now it could be one press for you or it could be two presses, so just try both. Um, I already have mine set to two presses, so I'm gonna do two presses right here. It's gonna open up my Bixby. Then what I'm gonna do is click the three dots in the top right then I'm gonna click on settings. And then here in settings, this is where you're gonna see the new functionality for the Bixby button. So you'll see Bixby key, tap on that. And now you can do Bixby a couple of ways now, or a couple of things you can do with Bixby now. So you can see single press to open Bixby. If I press that, I can choose a functionality for double press. So I can do select an app or a quick command. Um, I'm not a big fan of Bixby, so I set it as double press and it's gonna be the same kind of thing except opposite. And what I mean by that is you can change it. So double press Bixby now will be the, the function in order to open up Bixby, but single press can do something. Right now I have it set to open up my Instagram. So I'll show you. Press it once, it opens up Instagram automatically. Let's go back in here. You can also change it, just click on it and you can open up an app. So you can tap on this little gear to the right and when you open that up, it's gonna open up all your apps that you can choose from. So maybe you want it to open up your banking app or your camera or whatever app that you want it to open, it will open it up for you. It's that simple. It can also do a command. So if I click on run command, you can see a quick command replaces one or more commands with a single word or phrase. Add a quick command and set it to your Bixby key for easier. So go to quick commands. And now under quick commands, you can see a couple of things here. You can do productivity, daily routine, lifestyle. You can kind of set it to you know certain things that you want it to do. So if you want it to be your I don't know, daily routine, you can have it do going, when you press it, it'll do your going home, meaning it's gonna turn on Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, text John that you're on your way home, text direction. So it does a bunch of stuff for you just by pressing one button. Um, so that's pretty cool, I thought. But anyways, I just use it as, a, as an app thing and I just did it. Instagram, I'll try it out, see if I use Instagram a lot quicker that way just by pressing it because it is one of the apps that I use the most just to waste time with. Um, but yeah, that is the new update for Bixby. Um, you can also go in here and change some other stuff as well. If you don't want to do voice wake up, I turn that off so it doesn't, if I say hi Bixby, it doesn't come, come on. Um, automatic listening, voice responses, all kinds of um, settings in here that you can mess around with. I turn off marketing notifications because I don't want to get notifications on stuff that I don't really care about. But that is the update right there for you guys. Hopefully that helped you out with customizing and managing your phone a little bit better and easier. Thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.